Good evening, sorry for a lack of update recently. I've uh, been quite busy with work uh, and doing stuff around the house. So uh, thanks for all the interaction on the, in the Instagram page. Really, really appreciate it. Um, we had our first 500 like post today, which is a massive, massive achievement considering how quickly and how new it is. So thanks for all you new followers um, for liking and really getting behind us. Um, so one of the things I did last week is ask one of the questions on like um, the Insta post that you can do. And one of the uh, things I was asked about is covering some of the, the cheaper types of die cast out there, so the Amacoms uh, and Ixos. So I've been banging on about Ixo a long time. Um, so I've got, managed to get three of them out of the man cave um, to bring out today. So I've got the IL-2 Sturmovic, I've got the P40N or Kitty Hawk 4 um, in desert markings. Uh, I've got the P39 Aero Cobra as well in the New Guinea marking. So uh, I thought I'd have a little bit of a, just a very brief video on, on some of the, what they offer. So for those who've been watching, Salido used the XA mold, Warmaster have used the XA mold, and it appears the new Atlas range are using the XA mold. So it's really has stood the test of time. Uh, but XA was the first brand to really release them and go big on them, and they were part of a part work magazine series. Uh, and for diecast collectors out there, it was a really cheap way to get collecting. Uh, and also they offered some of the weird and wonderful specimens of aircraft out there. So this uh, one here is the IL-2 Sturmovic. Uh, for those who follow Warbirds, uh, we now have two of these flying. One of these with the Paul Allen Flying Heritage and Armour Collection in Seattle. Uh, and another one now with uh, a Russian uh, restoration team who are have just literally fished another one out of the, the water single seat stern of it, which they plan to restore at flight as well. And I believe there is another one under restoration with them as, as we speak. So, you know, this is an aircraft that never, we you know, we are absolutely delighted to see in the skies. Uh, and unfortunately, I think it was planned for flying legends this year, but had a few electrical problems when it went to Berlin. And hopefully next year we might get a chance to see it. But Ixo were the only brand who have taken this on. Um, I think Easy Model, who make plast generally plastic models, uh, pre-painted models, make it as well. Um, but Ixo did it, and this is a mighty fine example of it, I think. Oh, um, one of the things with Ixo, though, um, if we have a look at the towel over there, you see the panelling, how they've re real thick ink mark panelling on. So the new versions offered by Atlas and Warmaster and Salido have abolished that and they've just gone for a pure sort of paint finish. Um, it only really shows up on the tail end of the stern of Vigli. If you actually look at the wings, I think it's quite subtle and nice, um, but the tail lets it down. You'll see with the other ones in a minute, but it is a mighty fine chunk of die cast. Um, this one though is particularly hard to find nowadays because it is the one and only. Uh, it generally goes for quite a few quid on eBay or second-hand markets. Um, but if you do see it, it's well worth getting because it's certainly a gap filler for your collection. So moving on to the second one, so that's the P4, uh, P40 Kitty Hawk. Um, this is a N model. Um, as you'll note by what's on the nose, you've got the uh, air intake on the nose here, depicting the uh, N model. And again, you know, uh, ignore the glue marking. Uh, that's got to be scrapped off. Um, it's you know, heavily panelled, uh, panel lining. Um, I wouldn't say it lets the model down, but it's, it, it just does, does take something away from it. But same with the uh, Aero Cobra, if we have a look there. Not quite as detailed on the panelling, thankfully, but again, it's still quite noticeable. Uh, and it's a very, very noticeable tail sitter. Um, but these, you know, when I first started collecting, we were always for five, maybe eight, ten quid at air shows. Uh, and they, like I said, they offer some weird and wonderful aircraft. They offered the first bow fighter before Hobbymaster got their hands on it. Um, and a lot of collectors believe the undercarriage on the XO bow fighter is actually a lot better than that on uh, the Hobbymaster one, which is, uh, you know, I think that speaks volumes. Uh, and also the only manufacturer to offer the, uh, the skewer, the Royal Naval skewer. Uh, again, it's not a, not a magnificently cast model, but it's the only one of its kind out there. Uh, and, you know, some of the German fighters, I first to do a Dora, F F uh, W190 Dora, plus all the weird and wonderful Japanese fighters like the Raiden. So actually this casting is now being used in a Japanese series of Japanese aircraft, which is coming out. And I really hope that 
uh, we do something very similar in Europe once it's sort of finished in Japan. Uh, some of the weird and wonderful Japanese aircraft that have come out are absolutely fantastic. Uh, a lot of them being new moulds as well, so hopefully there's a future for this mould out there. Um, if anybody's seen the Bowfire, uh, the US Bowfire and Salido um, file, which I reviewed earlier, they're the old XO mould uh, brought back to life nowadays. So it's actually stood the test of time. Um, if you look on eBay, generally they flit between sort of the 10 and 15 pound mark nowadays, maybe a little bit cheaper. Um, you know, yeah, yeah, you have to take a chance on some of them. Some of them, like the Spitfire, look a little bit dated. The Hurricane isn't a bad one, actually. Um, that's not a bad looking aircraft. Uh, you've got the ME 110, there's two different schemes there's a Desert ME 110 uh, and the Hornet one. Uh, they do several uh, 109s as well. I think they do a 109K and a 109G. Um, the K one's actually quite nice. Um, but no, there's all sorts of aircraft out there. The only um, Wildcat, which you can get in diecast, is made by XO as well. Um, so yeah, really worth checking out. I hope you found this video a little bit useful. Um, give the video a like, uh, keep following the review page. Hopefully Dan will have one up uh, on Wednesday. Uh, and yeah, that's it from me. Uh, any questions, as always, put it on the bottom of the, of the video and we'll try and answer as soon as we can. Thanks a lot.